Low impact collision leads to high, high settlement in excess of six figures. Find out more. Hey, I'm Shane from Shane's Law. Today we're talking with Tim, one of our attorneys here about one of his recent client victories. We always want to do a great job for our clients and this is a case in particular where we got a great result from. Tim, let's talk about CS's case. What happened there? CS was rear-ended in a low-impact accident, but fortunately, the medical evidence was so overwhelming that we were able to get the policy limits for him, 250 limits, and, and the 25 UM as well because of his injuries. Wow. So a lot of times, obviously, you said low impact. Yes. And we hear that term a lot from insurance companies. They're like, it's a low impact collision or it's a low property damage collision. What really does low impact mean to you? It just means that there isn't a lot of visible damage to the vehicle. Uh, okay. It has nothing to do unrelated with the damage to the, you know, to the occupants of the car. And you said visible damage, and that's the key. That's what they normally focus on is how many visible damage is there to our client's car. And you know as well as I, sometimes there's not a lot of damage, but people are hurt real bad, which is what it sounds like CS's case here was. Yes, he was hurt very bad. Um, herniations in both his neck and lower back, cervical and lumbar herniation. Wow. Okay, that those are serious injuries. Right. You know, let me ask you this too, as we talk about low impact collisions and low property damage, you ever buy eggs, Tim? Yes, sir. <laughs> Every week. All right, so when you buy eggs, you look at the carton? Yes. Do you always go for the banged up carton or you go for the nice carton? Go for the nice carton. Now, do you just take it or do you open it up to check those eggs? You got to open it up and see what's inside. Right. And you ever find broken eggs in a nice cart? You do. <laughs> and I, I talk about that because that's what I explained to somebody one time to me. You know, It's the same basis. You're saying low damage to the vehicle means the person inside can't get hurt. And yet every one of us opens up that egg cart to look for busted eggs inside Dude. a carton that looks totally fine, right? Absolutely. You know, or I tried to talk to some person and said, if I shipped you a box of china and the box looked okay, do you believe the china could be all busted up to pieces? It sure could. Sure could. And that's what happened to CS, I guess, here. Absolutely. He did several rounds of rejections. He had the ablation. Ultimately, he needed surgery. Wow. Uh, in his uh, cervical spine. Wow. Were they able to fix him? He was doing 100% better. He wow. Back to back feeling good, just almost as if well, pre-accident. And uh, and again, feeling a lot better since he got the policy limits. Wow. Well, I bet. I was going to say, did he tell you what he was going to do with the money or what he was going to do with it? Uh, he did. Uh, actually, uh, he has grandchildren, so he wants to spoil them a little bit and wow. just provide a better home for his, his, his family. He's raising his grandchildren. Wow. So provide a better home for them. Wow. Well, he, I'm sure the money certainly will help there. Absolutely. Quite a bit. Sounds like he did a great job. It sounds like he was lucky to have you. I know a lot of attorneys, they hear that low impact collision. They want to shy away from that case and, yep. and not work with the client and not make sure the client gets the right medical care to get better. That sounds like you didn't do that here. Not at all. He was, uh, he, he impressed upon us in the very beginning and he was really injured and uh, all his medical treatment, he was a joy to work with. Uh, treatment, everything was, was right on point. Oh, it sounds like he was lucky to have you as, a, as his lawyer, Tim, and a great job. And we're happy to have him as a client. We're happy to have you on the team uh, taking care of him. So it sounds like a winner all around. I appreciate it. If you like our client victories, hit like and subscribe down below to stay current with Shane Smith Law News and look forward to talking to you again. Remember, if you're in pain, call Shane, 980-999-9999. Find out if we're the right lawyer to help you with your car accident case, especially if you got what somebody considers a low impact collision. We'd be glad to talk to you, see if we can help, like Tim did here with CS. Thanks a lot. In pain, so I call Shane, 980-999-9999. In pain, call Shane.